with that, uh, the platform uh, being cognitive can run different analysis against uh, the, the system it, it has connected to. And uh, it can have a specific target system in mind. In this case, it is S4HANA on-prem 1909. And it will run through different criteria and different engines, uh, which will result in different information collected from the system. And it will present it to you as a dashboard. And this is more like a background job that takes like one to two days on an average. And uh, we have we have take, we have we've seen a system which took around four days, and that was that 12, 24 TB system, which is from a Singapore high high tech manufacturer. But uh, other than this, the average time the platform takes to crunch the system and come up with the data is around one to two business days. So you get to see about what the landscape is, what are the what is the who is and TB, and uh, the active and inactive users. Uh, the add-on and how you could archive a uh, few of the information in the system and what about the interfaces present in the system. And then got the process assessment where, uh, with, I mean, till right now, uh, the, there isn't any communication between the system admin or the enterprise end users. The platform is cognitive and it is doing it on its own. So it can connect to a system and it, it can try and understand what kind of system it is in terms of its usage uh, in terms of the modules and the application components present, present in it. And uh, from there, it will go deeper. It will try and understand different lines of business present and what are the top processes against that lines of business and who are the stakeholders for each of those lines of business. And launching, a, launching that can get me to a landing page where I can have even more information about uh, that particular widget. So you can search for MM and try and understand different information about what are the processes and sub processes and who are the stakeholders for those processes and sub processes. And then the complexity analysis as well. So all of these right now is, is part of the DX planning where uh, we are trying to understand if a system can be converted to a target S4 HANA. If converted, what are the risk? items which we could be facing and things like that. So while the platform uh, understands about the processes and the sub processes and the stakeholders, it goes into each of the processes and it can do a mining with regard to that particular process alone in terms of understanding uh, the configurations of that particular purchase organization. In this case, the purchase organizations. So uh, there are like 17 company codes. Launching a company code will get me uh, different purchase organizations. And launching one purchase organization leads me to a purchasing group. So many purchasing groups. Getting me to a purchasing group gets me the plant, different plants, and then the storage location. And finally, the number of purchase documents created for that particular fiscal year. So the platform does it for each of the lines of business identified. And it, it kind of provides an eagle eye view about how your organization units and your business units are configured per line of business. So it can allow uh, the customer to make a decision before even moving to Esfahana in terms of uh, identifying the critical uh, business units and not so critical or non strategic critical uh, business units as well. So that's, and uh, this is more similar for all the other widgets in terms of billing, in terms of orders, in terms of sales documents as well. And then, as we all know, the simplification items. I, I might not go deeper into it because these are covered as part of maps, just a high level view about how, uh, I'm just covering the, covering the pieces which uh, will make sense when we get into the digital minds. So then we've got a custom objects assessment in terms of understanding the customizations of the system and their impact when this system is moved to Esfahana. So that's what this covers, like what are the impacted cases, high, medium, low, and by different case types and which package and which object are they. So that's what uh, the custom object assessment does. And then the BW assessment if there is a BW system index. Now with all of this information available, the platform 
will crunch and come up with uh, your catalog or your process uh, in terms of the global scope items. What was once the business process master list, BPML Excel sheet, which we used to have, has been renamed as global scope items by SAP GSI items. So the platform will take care of mapping each of the processes identified to the standard global scope items available as part of Expo HANA. And uh, you get to have the list of global scope items available here, finance, accounting and finance tools, and then different scope item variants, and then the different process steps involved in each of those global scope item variants. And this can also uh, allow me to pro provide uh, the process in terms of uh, the optimized process situation which SAP is recommending. And with this knowledge, uh, the, pl the platform already has, it will be able to come up with insights in terms of digital minds too, because the platform is already aware of what an optimized process will look like for a given scope item variant. So, and then a Fiori app is in case there is one so that can also be recommended. With the optimized process, the stakeholder, these come from the data which uh, we just saw as part of process assessment, then the end users and the Fiori application for that particular end-to-end -end process. So that's what the platform does as part of digital maps. And this is how uh, the digital process is loaded and how you can model or configure a process as part of your project timeline and have them uh, recorded as, uh, as different documents and use it up for uh, your STD document preparations and link it, link it, link it up with different uh, rights of components and build your digital knowledge database for the customer who we are talking about. So that's about the process. And then we've got the labs where uh, you can create test cases against a process and have them as part of your test catalog. Uh, this can help in retaining the test scripts and having them for further use during your uh, SBOHANA upgrades or uh, subsequent uh, changes in the processes. And this makes it easy for people to identify the processes, uh, the, the test cases associated with the process and selectively work on that as well. 